I want to recognize a couple of folks and find out who else is here. I want uh, a fellow to sign the stand up whose name is Bruce Singer. Is he here still? Bruce Singer, are you here? Bruce Singer, original stockholder of our company in 1972. He's been a ticket holder since the beginning. And also we have Alan Schwartz. Where is Alan? Right there. 1972 to today. Both of those gentlemen have been season ticket holders from the beginning. That's a great photo right there to get. That's what I'm talking about, about the passion of Islander fans. Who else here that we can recognize has had season tickets or been a fan since 1972? A lot of folks have been fans since 1972, right? Awesome. Thank you so much. That's what the Islanders are all about. The continuity of tradition. We're going to hear from Bobby Knight. It's all about the New York a while. Scott Melker and I were fortunate enough to have a chance to buy the team, and we bought it in stages. We bought the first part two years ago, and as Shannon indicated, we didn't want our pictures in the newspaper. We gave one set of interviews because we wanted to be able to move freely through Barclays Center and find out what this place was all about. And we talked to a lot of you, and we heard you, and we're going to be doing things this year working hard with Barclays Center to improve the experience of the game, to improve the experience for the fans, to make it easier for you to get here for those loyal fans from Long Island. We're working with the Long Island Railroad. We have had fans come to us and say, how about running a bus from the Nassau Coliseum parking lot? We're looking into that. We want your feedback. You are the shareholders of the New York Islanders. We are the trustees. We are passing through. You guys can remember great Islander moments, but I dare say you couldn't remember every owner who's ever owned a team in the National Hockey League. So Scott and I are the current stewards of the team. We're the trustees for you, but you guys are the stakeholders, and that's really important to us. So when you see me on the concourse, because I won't be sitting in the owner's box, I'll be moving around, sitting in various places in the building, I want you to come up to me and I want you to either tell me what we're doing right or give me what we need to do better. And that's defined both on the ice and off the ice. On the ice, I'm going to convey that to Garth Snow and Jack Capuano because they're running our hockey operations. And an owner who starts to meddle with a general manager is a fool and we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is we are going to open the checkbook. You are going to have a team that if it needs to be capped, max to compete for the Stanley Cup. You guys have been through thick and thin, and thick is really good, and it's going to get thicker. Get Ovechkin! This year is to keep progressing in the playoffs. So, thank you. What's that? Drive, Drive for, for five. five! Drive for five? I've got one better than that. I watched another sports team in New York reward its longtime shareholders with replica, stand, uh, replica championship rings. And I'm here tonight to announce that if we win, not if, when, we win the fifth ring. Season ticket holders, people who are our stakeholders, you should have a ring too. Yeah! yeah. Shannon has a series of questions from some of the fans uh, who put questions in. I'm happy to try to answer them, and then we're going to hear from much more interesting people than me. I think you're interesting, but I just got goosebumps when he mentioned the replica rings. I, everybody wants to see another banner, right? And I will say, John, that Madeline from Huntington actually asked the first question, and I think you answered part of it, but I'm going to let you expand. Will the team spend to the cap, and what will that look like? Right, so we're going to spend intelligently, and our first and foremost consideration is to make sure that we leave the room to sign the folks that we need to sign to continue the Islander tradition. We need you this year to turn out and yell and scream and come and tell the players how much you love them. When we had the playoffs, all the players, and you'll hear this from Casey and Brock in a minute, the place was shaking so hard it inspired them. I need, I need your commitment to spread the word. You guys are our core fans showing up in the middle of July. I need you guys to help me fill this place night after night to create that playoff environment. We're going to use our foundation. We're going to do things in the community to take care of that, to get this place rocking. In a world of a cap, 
when teams like us can spend to the cap max, what makes the difference to the players to stay here? The passion of the fans, the place being full, the place rocking, commitment to excellence in everything we do on and off the ice. So I need your help to do that. The purse strings are open, but that can only go so far if we don't have the following. We need you to show up. We need the Islander Nation, the Islander yeah, Army, to woo! show up on a We're Tuesday here! night against Winnipeg. Right? We're, We're here, here every night. We need you to come. Blue yeah. and Orange Army! We're working on every element of the game experience to make it better as well. Yeah, so great. that's my covenant. That's Scott's covenant to you that we will do what we need to do to make sure that not just this season, but in future seasons, we can retain the talented young core, the it's captain, John Tavares, people that we need to no, keep in that Islander uniform for their entire career. So I hope that answers what? the question. It's like you're reading my mind. Couldn't be, couldn't, couldn't be no, clear I'm on that one. Mind reader, what, because that? Anne from Queens, speaking of John Tavares, Oh, okay. She's wondering when he becomes a free agent, how will you what? guys plan He's not going to become a free agent. Are we going to let him be a free agent? Yeah! No! Do we love 91? Yeah! Yeah! And what was one of the greatest moments in Islander history last year when John came around that net and scored that overtime goal? Not only was that a great moment, but he blew the roof off this place. The scoreboard almost was centered after that goal, right? Yeah! <laughs> That's what we need to see, and that's what we need to do in the future here, the New York Islanders. We have to make Barclays Center our home. I know we all long and miss the Nassau Coliseum. We have to make Barclays Center the place that other teams don't want to come in and play us in. That's really important. So thank you for coming from Plainview. Thank you for coming from Long Island. Hopefully you're going to hear some good news about the Long Island Railroad. We're working really hard to make it easier for you to get to a game. We need you to come out during the week. We need you to bring your families on the weekend. That's what John Tavares wants. That's what you're going to hear from Brock and Casey. They actually play better when this place is full. So let's tee it up and do it. A few follow-up questions on that. Michael from Staten Island says, moving forward, he believes it's very important to build a local fan base. I still consider Long Island as local, but I think he's touching yeah. on the build the fan base in the Brooklyn, the Bronx, the, the Manhattan area. How do you guys look to kind of target some of those newer fans? Well, I, I grew up in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. I grew up in Bayside, Queens. And how many folks were Islander fans growing up and have moved? To Brooklyn, have moved to Manhattan, have moved to Westchester, have moved to Connecticut, have moved to New Jersey, and still make the effort. When I meet fans earlier tonight and they tell me they've driven all the way from New Jersey to be here, that's passion. Yes. That's what we need. Hi, we and so we have to build a fan base in the passion. metropolitan area. We're not looking to compete with the Rangers for fans. We're looking to kick Ooh. the Rangers' ass on yeah. the Seriously though, that was a little bit of humor. I got some balls. But hockey in the New York metropolitan community is fantastic, right? We are blessed to have the ability to share this place with the Rangers and the Devils. They're good fans too. They love hockey. They're our neighbors. But guys, I think it's our time. It's our time. And I think our players are ready too. I think we have a great nucleus and a great core. So again, I go back to my earlier statement. Let's recruit some fans from all those markets. If you guys are living there, tell your neighbors to turn out and come to a game. When we get folks to show up at Barclays Center for the first time, they're hooked. Because, again, no, ne no negative on the Rangers or the Devils. When you show up and you're sitting in the lower bowl or the upper bowl, I think you're looking at some of the best seats in hockey. So hopefully we can get that across to the fans and have them turn out and make them passionate about the Islanders. Okay, th this is a tough one because I know this is one that a lot of people ask me. And, and I'm sure you've gotten this before, but Paul from New York, New York, i.e. the city, Manhattan, asks, are the Islanders truly committed to Brooklyn, or does this ownership plan on opting out of their lease with Barclays after five years as today. reported? Wow. There you go. We're getting heavy. I'm sorry that's there. Pretty, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty tough question. Here's the way I'm going to answer it. We're committed to New York. We are the New York Islanders, and we have the opportunity. What's one of the first things that my partner, Scott Malkin, worked on was the opportunity to take over what we're now calling Northwell Ice Center. So 
Our team is on Long Island in terms of the practice facility. We're moving away from Iceworks to Northwell. We're building out state-of-the-art NHL locker room, state-of-the-art weight room, state-of-the-art practice facilities. Because again, in a world of free agents where, as we saw this past uh, July, folks could pick where they wanted to go, those things made a difference to free agents coming around the league. So we have to have a standard of excellence and a commitment to excellence. So. Our fans in Long Island, we're going to be doing events at Northwell. You're going to be able to go and see the team practice there. Our fans in Brooklyn, That's they're a stone's throw away from practice. Barclays Center. And what we have to do here, again, is somehow create the magic that makes this place look and feel more like the old barn. And that takes effort, but that's the effort we want to make. We want to personalize the Islanders' experience when we're in the building. We want to come into a beautiful building, a beautiful facility. But guys, we need to make this our own home. And that starts with great signs and banners. It starts with a commitment to excellence. And it starts with you guys turning out in numbers. So, Blue and Orange Army! All right, Lou from East Islip <laughs> says, and this kind of is expanding a little bit on the Barclays piece, are there plans to make Barclays more hockey yeah. friendly? Yeah, this arena wasn't get built for hockey, again, but Tessa. this is where the team is now. Yep, and I think the great thing about our fan base is they let us know loud and clear what needs to be improved. And I love that about you guys. Again, you can yell, you can, you can yell and scream all you want because I'd be yelling and screaming if I was in the stands with you, and I am in the stands with you. So. Again, we've got a long list. I kidded the folks running Barclays Center that one of the things we were gonna do is paint this big Islanders logo, this enormous wooden box that says suggestions. And we're gonna put it out where we enter, and I hope that you'll fill that box with suggestions, and I hope again that you'll stop me and my partners, my partners and I, and come and tell us what we can do better to make this place our home. It's going to be right next to the <laughs> MSG set. Right exactly. <laughs> They're going to be shouting all the suggestions at me, too. I'll make sure they get to you, though. Don't worry. Great. Well, I think you've, you've heard enough from me. I, I have one more. Oh, I have come one, on, I know, Shannon. I know, give I me a break. I, 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 I'm, I'm, already, I'm already imagining the tweets that are going out no, there. No, no. I hope I'm still an owner tomorrow. I hope I don't get called you before are. the National Hockey League. Hey. Gary Bettman calls me up and says, what was that comment about the Rangers? Are you out of your mind? People like people who are real. And I feel like Fuck you're real Batman. people. And I think everybody here will appreciate that. And one thing for the fans. Let's go Islanders! Let's go Islanders! Let's go Islanders! Let's go Islanders! Yeah, you know why? Because what we should do, let's practice what happens this year when Casey Zizekas and Brock Nelson score a goal. What are we going to do? Yes! 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 Let's roll the video. <laughs> we actually, I'm going to do the introductions first. We, we did the video for we so excited. We the Islanders fighting right. for the Hall of Fame. Like we are be. taking on the world. I want you guys to be touching and taking photos. <laughs> New York the Islanders. You know, you can't touch the Stanley Cup until you win it. But when you guys right. win it for us and with us, what? we're all going to touch the cup together, right? Yes. That's another thing we yes. have to do. also uh, share some yeah but I want to before you do that okay okay what really bummed me out last year because oh, of it? the Barclays folks okay I argued with them I, I have a guy that I really like I have something in my life that's important to me and we only could get him here a few times and this year he's coming here as often as he wants to Sparky come on out here Sparky, you're part of our tradition and our heritage, and we want to see you at a lot of games because you inspire the younger fans to become Islander fans. Sparky! Sparky, I want a hug. I, I didn't even... I can't come down. Just, we yeah, want just hop Sparky. up here. Just a little hug. We miss you. We miss you. Yay! Sparky's stealing the show. Okay, well, while Sparky and John are, are, are saying hello, I just want to... Introduce you to some of the players, past and present, that are here with us tonight. Brock Nelson signed um, an extension at the start of last season. Continues to impress fans with his development. I don't know if any of you guys were here when he had his first NHL hat trick. It was awesome. The final seconds in the third period, I was like, is he gonna get, is he gonna go in? Is it, 
it went in, and those were just three of his 26 goals in the 2015-2016 season. Let's give it up for Brock Nelson. I want a prop. Prop. I want to Look, because Casey Sezikis is always smiling. You might not see that out of the 